Inspiring Africa, making global impact. Yes, she looks good. Everyone, welcome to yet another installment of Township Rollers right here on Galaxy Universal Network Channel 500 on Starset. My name is Gugu Tusi as we continue to give you and bring to you more entrepreneurs who really started from the ground. Not only that, we are celebrating everyone who's still in business. As you may know that COVID-19 has affected a lot of business. COVID-19 has brought a lot of business to its knees. However, some entrepreneurs are still standing and busy pushing their businesses aside. And today we have part a, that particular reason, a prestigious guest, um, Dr. Mutswadiri, who is an, an, a CEO of uh, the DM Minerals Group and uh, is a professional with a strong mining and minerals pro and processing background across wide range of commodity. And uh, furthermore, uh, Dr. is a, um, a chemical engineer and he holds an MBA from groups. He is also an entrepreneur and a strategist. A very warm welcome to you, my leader. Thank you. Thank you so much for, for joining us. As I was reading your profile, I, I was intrigued. Um, you know, the, 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 the type of uh, industry that you are in is uh, predominantly an uncharted territory. Take us through what inspired you to tap into the space of minerals and mining. Yeah, um, like if I explained on, on the intro, um, I've, 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 my life has been uh, within mining. So I've got a lot of experience in mining. I understand the ins and outs of, of mining, um, you know, the whole value chain of, of, of the mining space. So I've been through that whole, you know, value chain. So I understand the dynamics of the, of the, of the mining um, chain. So for me to, um, to begin uh, with the start the Deminaras group, it was uh, because I looked at where the, as the paradigm was shifting from more of a owner operated, you know, um, mines to more like contract, you know, op operated uh, 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 mines. So the mines were giving, um, you know, this, all this core, you know, um, uh, it was its functions, you know, outsourcing them to people who've got capabilities, you know, to assist them to, to, um, to do those, those, those um, um, uh, 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 functions. So there was a gap that was actually needed, and it was actually that how the market was moving from mining. The, the mentality was changing, not to own everything and do everything. So some of the things where there's a skills gap, I mean, the mine would outsource those things to somebody who's got maybe technical, who's got capacity, who's more flexible, mm -hmm. who can assist, assist them. Um, for example, when they need to adopt a technology, I mean, mining companies will take long to adopt a technology, but a contract, you know, a, a miner, it's easy for them to adopt technology. They can, you know, uh, create a new partnership with people who are, who are technology owners and actually try and, 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 mm -hmm. and implement on the, on the host, you know, on the hostman to the hostman without them, you know, spending enough upfront capital mm -hmm. so they can, you know, save that capital. So you, you actually money helping them to manage the risks. So there was, there, was a, there was a serious gap and that shift, it is still, you know, carrying on. So the space of contract mining is, is growing. Mm -hmm. So hence there was that, you know, um, Back that says okay maybe that's the market that's which the market. I can use I can leverage on the experience that I have mm -hmm. from from the mining industry. Yeah. Now, now, now hearing uh, you right now engaging with us and uh, from your profile we heard that you are a strategist. Now as a strategist how was your childhood uh, back in in the northwest? Uh, my childhood I come from very um, humble beginning. Um, um, you may not you know maybe believe it or you may doubt it, but I grew up in the farm. Um, on, on the farm. So we only moved to the township in 1992 or 30. Um, that's when I went to school. I mean, I, I walked to school about 15,000 kilometers, you know, um, one trip and then round trip 30 kilometers. So I, I, I walked away. So I come from very humble, humble uh, a, a beginning. Uh, but I did not want, you know, my beginning to actually shape, you know, my future. So I wanted to do something different, you know, in terms about my life. And when I was doing my MBA, I mean, one of the um, what is the assignments that we did is was actually to look at your, you know, your family, how that has influenced influenced your thinking, mm -hmm. and then how you do things. Mm -hmm. So um, I looked at how we come from from I mean, my family where I come. I'm in my in my family where where we come from. I'm the only person who actually gone through through education and was actually, you know, um, have, mm -hmm. has got the opportunity to do something for themselves, in, um, in let alone just starting the business of, 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 of their own. So I was actually influenced for by my background. I said, well, I need to do better. I need to be better than from, from where mm -hmm. I am so that I can also, you know, inspire, you know, the family, even those who, that I grew, they grew up with. It doesn't, it doesn't, it's not always about where you, you know, how, where you come from. It's always, you know, about where you, you, you've got that vision, what you want to be. So I actually took that, you know, that position upon myself that this is what I'm going to do. 
and I and then I ended up in you know studying chemical engineering. Yeah, in 1993 we moved to the township, and then I, I did my I did my primary schooling in uh, on the in the on the, on the on the on the farm, and then I did my high schooling at the, at the township, yeah, um, and then I went to study. I got a bursary um, in 1994. 96 and then I, I went through Anglo Platinum and then I went to study at VETS and then I you know after studying at VETS I studied I kept on you know you know empowering myself yes, you know yes. developing myself mm -hmm. you know to understand the, the dynamics you know not just to you know rely on my you know technical knowledge mm -hmm. as the only capa capa capability mm -hmm. as the only strength because I mean business is very broad I've been fortunate that I've been moved around through you know the mining value chain so I know it from the in situ to port so I understand the whole, you know, the whole value chain. Hence, you understand when you define ourselves, we call ourselves an end-to-end, -end, you know, um, a mining partner. Mining partner. Yes. Yeah. Now, from humble beginnings with the vision, take us to what are some of the challenges that you've encountered really from developing that vision, from being a vision to being a physical and a tangible um, yeah. dream that has come true? Yeah, great. Sure, sure. Um, to, you know, it's, 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 it's very difficult to actually, I mean, you can, you, can, you can state your vision, but you cannot, you know, I mean, execute your vision. So you need to have a team around and people around mm -hmm. who support you, who support your vision. Yeah, yeah. yeah. so um, myself, I mean, when I started, I mean, there is a, a gentleman that we used to be, um, work, work together when we were at Anglo Platinum. So I called that guy because that's the person that I could trust. And I would knew, I mean, his values, how, you know, how he does things, you know, these personalities. So there was this understanding. So I got him to come on board and to come and join me, to assist me to reach, to reach my, you know, um, you know, vision or the dream that I, I, I had in mind of building um, a DM Minerals Group. Because the, 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 the vision of DM Minerals Group is bigger than my vision. So I'm looking at, at as, 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 it, as, it, as a vision of DM Minerals Group. Because I am the founder of DM Minerals Group, but I'm not DM Minerals Group. So DM, DM Minerals Group on its own is a person, and it's got its own dynamics. It's got like, you know, it's own machinery that it needs, these parts that needs to, you know, to run that part. I'm just for me and the engine that I started this thing. But the moving parts of the engine, they're very complicated than just my vision. So uh, to, to get that is to get, uh, to make sure that I've got the right, you know, people around me and people who support the, the support structure and obviously the business it needs to be set up in the correct way to, to look professional and to be able to, you know to challenge the status quo mm -hmm. how mining industry yes, yes. and the and the contract mining space has been done the contract mining space has been done has been based on experience you know how, how long experience you have within the mining space and then we do it that way but it, it is it is it is bigger than just because me having been in the mine and be heavy managed in mine and mines and heavy mining uh, heavy managed contractors so that also that gave me the edge because i understand you know how you know contractors tend to behave you know what are the sort of things that that that, that they're looking at here so we have to come for us our mind our 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 our, 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 our approach is to actually you know come up with the you know when you have a, when you're in as, as, as a contract mining company we want to be aligned to the strategy of you know the, the mine owner because that's when we can, you know, the synergies, we can extract value now. The value will, will, be, will be realized there when you actually talk, you know, when you have got the visions, I mean, the, what's this, the, the KPIs should be aligned to, our KPIs should be aligned to, to, the, to the host man, because that's, that's what we, that's what, what, what our business, um, you know, it is, is about is to assist you know the, the 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 mine owners to execute on the things that they cannot do themselves which they say okay come and do us and help us and then that's how we do this thing so we're trying to change the landscape of of contract mining yeah so we do it very 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 differently so in in tapping into the space of money you would agree with me that previously the space was predominantly um, uh, executed and operated by uh, white counterparts you know, what are some of the, the challenges that we really had to, that you encountered, you know, while you're trapping, you're trying yeah, to tap yeah. into to the space? Yeah, okay. Uh, I've actually touched a bit on that, uh, or, I mean, the answer to that, when I said it's, you know, it has been on based on experience. experience. And you look at experience, who has got experience? It's those people who had opportunities that were given to them that was just given on a silver platter. Mm -hmm. So you have to come there, you come, you know, you're a black man, you come from, you know, from university, you know, you're young, you're dynamic, you want to change things. I mean, there's always this old boys, old boys lab in the, within the mining, the mining space. So the network is a very critical thing that in the, in the mine, and mo most often than not, we always we don't have that that network, you know, to actually leverage on. So what in it, it stands us um, in a part is that what we always come, we try and bring you know a different you know a view in terms of mining. 
we do we, we say we, we said that when when we give a proposal we say we do a value based i mean a, a, what is a, what is a pricing because we don't look at we don't have a, a model that we say we use this one and we go we're going to copy all the time what to whoever you know a um, mining company that we come up with. so add. yeah value add. so we understand what is it that you know this company actually needs what is their problem because mm -hmm. different mines have got different, different they, they, they've got different problems. So we need to understand that because as we are professionals and to, 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 to go a little bit to, to the question of how do you, I mean I get to the vision. So for myself as I mean I come I, I've, I've gone through I mean studies for, for, for most of my time. So in a, within our team we make sure all our team we've got you know graduates, we've got you know professionals, people that can understand you know when we talk about you know certain so the language is easier and it does not only the, the, the knowledge does not only sit with one or two people within the company. Mm -hmm. So we want to get you know the right people so that the vision can just you know can can just emulate and we can, we become like the company that we want we want to do. But it is very very challenging mm -hmm. in terms of of getting the um, into into the space where it has been predominantly. Why I mean it is a fact. So if you are a black company, you need to do like maybe how many times, like multiple times. For you to actually to get to to, to get into because that space is already occupied so you need the network mm -hmm. and you need like right contacts right. you know people to talk to and you know this is this and that's the most challenging thing if you don't have the only reputation is uh, you have is you know what you have you know um mm -hmm. from mm -hmm. from from corporate but i always believe like if you've got value to offer i mean that the that should be offer, that that should be i mean if you've got you, you know the, you know, a proposition that you know somebody say that this way they they need people will take a chance with you and then when you get the chance obviously you grab it with your with both hands so, so very interesting yeah. uh, I mean, i'm intrigued so so now let's so, let's yeah. look at um, doctor as a, as a, an entrepreneur a strategist a ceo and then yeah. there's one yeah. doctor the family man yeah take us through that take us through that how do you also get to jungle between work and, and family time yeah uh Yo, I sleep. I, I, I don't sleep, and uh, my wife will be the first person to tell you my husband does not sleep. I don't know what kind of a human being he is, uh, but I try to balance. You know, when I have time, I mean, I, I spend time with my with my kids. Got two kids at the boarding school, so when they're here, I try, I try and spend as much time as I, you know, as I can. So it's actually an advantage for me that they are at the boarding school, the two. So we only have got the one little one that, that is still staying with us. So I spend a lot of time, but my wife has been very supportive. When I was doing um, in my MBA as well, I had a lot of, I was still in corporate. So I was doing M MBA. When I was writing my thesis, my wife was saying, you know, I'm tired. I said, you know, this transcript, can you please just transcribe it for me? So she sat there with me and then just write it, you know, for me. And then for me, I can just put that and then write it into, into, into a thesis, into a thesis uh, a format. So that is the support that I, I, I have. And my wife or, and, and the kids, they understand. Sometimes when I'm at home, I don't go to the office. They all say, but daddy, why are you not going to the office? Are you not working today? Because what? They are used to daddy working all the time. But they know when I'm back, I mean, on, on weekends, you know, we spend time together. Um, so I become, I, I try to separate work with, with, uh, with, with, uh, with my personal life, but I, I, I must admit, I, I, do, I, I do that. In my head, I say, I, I do that, but I end up, you know, sitting here and taking my laptop or, you know, and, you know, looking and talking to the, to the team. And so, yeah, it, it's a juggling, but the support is, is, has been very, is very, very, even my kids are small, but they understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, doctor. Uh, we are coming back with Dr. Mutsuadire, who's really been engaging with us about his, uh, his journey in tapping into the mining industry and his, his experience throughout. He holds an MBA from um, Gibbs and is, a, is an entrepreneur and a strategist. He's been really, really inspiring me. With that being said, we are going to take a break and we'll be back after this. Make massive moves. I feel confident. I feel like I can take on the world. So you're telling a story through your clothes. Such a professional, you wouldn't even know. Criticism is one of my biggest motivations. Tommy, you want to be a model? Like, oh my God. I'm glistening. The fashion industry needs people with beautiful faces. I would pay thousands of dollars for that look. Make massive moves with Starset. I want you to eat healthy food because it's delicious. Make massive moves. Would you like another one? I love it. I love this soup. This is amazing. The grits are so creamy. Oh, I take pride in my grits. No, so flavorful. I think that looks wonderful. Yeah. It's so incredible. Make 
make messy moves with Starset. Make massive moves. Wow! Let's go. Come on, we can be back by morning. Lucky, lucky, lucky! Who are you? I'm the boss. Really? Really, really. really. Yeah! Awesome! Totally! Yeehaw! <laughs> Very funny. Make massive moves with Starset. Make massive moves. Be the best fighter in China. Give me the Emperor's sword, and I'll spare your life. Shisha Six has gone too far. Make massive moves with Star Set. Everyone, welcome to Township Rollers right here on, on Galaxy Universal Network Channel 500 on Starset. Do continue to engage with us on our social media platform. We are Galaxy Universal Network on Facebook. We are Gun underscore TV underscore on Instagram and on Twitter. As you might have heard before the ad break, we have uh, Dr. Mutsuadire, who's been engaging with us really about his journey in tapping into the mining industry. And he's been sharing with us his journey in balancing between family and work. And one thing we've picked up from there is that he does not sleep. Now, Doctor, what are some of the values that you hold, not only as an entrepreneur, but as, a, as an individual, as a, as a human being? Yeah. Uh, for me, my, my values um, are, are simple. Um, uh, um, authenticity is very um, uh, critical. Um, you know, I need to be authentic. As when, when I have a discussion with you, I mean, you need to know um, that tomorrow when you have a can you will still, you know, get that understanding that this is how I am. So I don't want to change like a chameleon with you know, when, you know, when the situation is this way it is. Obviously, I can adapt to the situation, but I remain, um, you know, authentic to, 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 you know, to myself because that is how it is, you know, it's critical because I cannot, you know, because I believe if you are, if I keep on changing, you know, you, you will never understand, you know, what the kind of person I, I am. So I'm very uh, uh, authentic, and I think authenticity, authenticity is critical. Yeah, um, the, the based on my, on my uh, humble beginnings, I believe in development. Mm. Development is critical, and I also believe in saving people. So I, I think, I mean, saving people is, is very important, because I was given an opportunity myself through, through Bazari. When my parents didn't have money to take me to school, mm -hmm. and because of my own work, I mean, after my, my, my you know, hard work, I was lucky enough to get bursary, and I went to study. So I need to create something that will help, you know, to serve, you know, the the, uh, the people around me and those that I, you know, I employ within uh, within a uh, um, uh, 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 DM group, and uh, and and also, I mean, family. For me, um, family it is, um, you know, f f I take family as, as a value because that guides me, that grounds me, you know, it makes me work harder, mm -hmm. when, wants me to achieve more because now when I look at my family, I feel like, okay, this is, you know, the people that I probably need, you know, to, li to, to live for. If I cannot do something for myself, then I have to push myself for them so that they do not have to experience, you okay. know, to go through the same, you know, a path that I've gone through where I don't, I don't create, you know, the path for myself only. I create, I create it for those who are, who, are, who, are, who are around me. That's why for me it's also very critical when you go back to work. It's very, very critical to surround yourself with the right, with the, with, with, mm. with, with the, with the right people. Yeah, so you, you cannot, and I always tell, to my, tell my team, if you want to build a whatever, even when you recruit, if you want to build a, a high performance team, it's one of our, a high performance is one of our company values. So if you want to have that high performance, you need to have, get high performance individual. Mm. Because then as a collective, they, they become, you know, a high performance. So those those are the most critical values um, for me. Authenticity. Everyone will tell you. I I call a spade a spade. Yeah. Now, I love what you said. Yeah. That development is key. Developing others. What are some of the initiatives that you've t you've embarked yeah. on as a DM Minerals to really empower other people who are really you know within the space of mining and minerals or any other sector for them? Good, good, good. Now that's that's, that's a wonderful question. Yeah. Um, we we have um, we have uh, embarked on hey, on this um, you know the the intensive pro, uh, program. And we are actually, like we said, like I said, we challenge the status quo. We're focusing more on the, um, the TVET colleges. 
the vocational training. Um, everyone will focus to, to on vets, on UCT, on, on Pretoria, University approach. of Pretoria, mm. you know, Stellenbosch, you know, all those things. But we neglect you know, the Tivet colleges. And those are the people who actually get to struggle to find, to, to find work. But if you look at those, uh, uh, even at that space, those are, the, those are the critical skills that mining space needs. Because those, those people are offered you know, practical training. I mean, they are, they are, they are, our, well, they are what? They are artisans in, in mining. Mm -hmm. any, any mining company operates with artisans. Mm -hmm. I mean, like, there is no mine. I can be an engineer, but I will never be able to operate without artisans. Because artisans need to make, uh, report things, repair things when they, are, when, yeah. when they are broken. And then, you know, they need to install, you know, components when those components are missing. And then you need to also do, like, you know, general maintenance. Mm -hmm. They need to do inspections. It's not me as a CEO sitting mm -hmm. wherever I'm that sitting. I do not do that. So, so we, we're looking at, you know, try and develop. And those are the people who are actually less fortunate, who did not get you know, opportunity to go to a vet or to go to a UCT, to go to, I mean, you know, all these pre uh, the prestige universities. And then what we do, what we do, we don't give them opportunity. I always say, in all my interviews, I always say, without work, you cannot get experience. And without experience, you can't get work. So where do you now break, you know, that, you know, that, 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 you know, that line? Because there's, those things are not mutually exclusive. So you need one to get to, 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 to get, get to the, the, to the ad. Yes. So this is the space which I, when I talk to, to I mean, to, to the team, to the human capital team of us, I say this is what we we are trying to do. If I say I say we not say we not we don't want you know the visit. those those guys from the because of the stereotype. We yes, always believe yes. that, you know, mindset, when you come yeah, from there, I mean, from me, I might be biased, okay, where I'm, where, wherever I come, I come from. I might just say, if I, there's a candidate from there, I might just think that person, you know, is, is, is the right same person. Is but it's so not necessarily because case. personalities are not the same. Those soft skills are very critical, which, and I also, we say, technical skills alone, it's not good enough for a business. Mm. You need to have mm. all these mm. other skills, skills which are critical. If you look skills. at the curve of knowledge, if as you go into, into, into a corporate um, uh, world, I mean, as you, as you start, you know, your, 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 what is this, your technical, you know, it's, what, it's, it's just what, it's a springboard. But as you get there, now you want, now you start now, you start now, you know, to, to going down. down. Now what's becoming important now is your soft skills now. Because now you have to, un to understand you know, holistically, holistically, you know, the business. Because you can't juggle the business with your technical knowledge. I mean, if I, if I have to speak, you know, chemical, you know, engineering language, I won't make sense to anyone. But if, I, if, we, talk, if we talk business, we will understand each other because that's a universal language. So a, a chemical engineer is a language for a particular, you know, um, um, space. But in business, you don't only serve. Or, or of course, if you are only with a niche market that you want to, you know, talk, that you, you may entice those people. But in mining, is the space of everyone. So we want to give opportunity to those who are in, in Tibet colleges mm -hmm. who are not giving, they didn't do well at school. You don't want them to lose hope now that, mm -hmm. you know, I can't go to university. They don't, can, yeah, yeah so everyone it. must be equal. And once we're in a corporate, at the end everyone is, is, is equal. I say to them every day, I say, when you started here, you are an A student. So if you go down to whatever, to a Z, whatever you want to say, That's it's you. Call. It's you. It's You've done that. But when I looked at you, we A came student. here because you were an A student. So it's for you to to, um, to downgrade yourself. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So, so, Doctor, let's let's take now a look at uh, some of the, the future endeavors that you, you would like to pursue as a, as a CEO yeah. and a founder mm -hmm. of DM Minerals. Beyond, like, you, when we started our interview, you did mention that it's a, it's a vision that's beyond you. Yes, uh, DM course, Minerals is, a, is an individual. Yeah. On, on, on its own. Yeah. It has its own uh, components and capacity. Yeah. So looking at that capacity and the vision that you have, what are some of the, the future endeavors that you're looking to pursue in taking um, DM Minerals into another level? Yeah, uh, I think yeah, um, uh, uh, COVID-19 has um, you know, um, accelerated what we've been contemplating um, to, um, to do. Um, what, we, what we're going to do in the, in the, in the, in the short to medium term, what you're going to do, we're going to focus on um, what well, that's okay, obviously, in terms of you know getting our operations very every to become more, 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 more efficient and making sure, in terms of I mean, the efficiency, in terms of do we buy smarter, you know, we need to buy smarter and then you know to try and make sure and where there is debt, we need to pay you know off that debt as quickly as we can. When you've got you know the surplus cash, then you know we deal, we deal with that cash so that we know that we know we what is we, we improve our balance sheet. And yeah, so and also one of the things is also in terms of growth. So how we're going to grow is um, to diversify from only what we do. 
um, and to focus on uh, the critical part, the critical part of contract mining, which is highly specialized, which is not uh, easy for everyone to imitate and just, just get into that, which is the tailings. So the tailings, which is like the, the management of the tailings, um, the reprocessing of the tailings, and, and, the, uh, um, and also the, the remining of the seas. Because the operating and the managing of those, that's one, that's one is very highly specialized. So that's the one that we want to push, uh, focus our energy on because we know it's not easy to get in. It's not like the barriers of any are that hard, but it's not easy. You need to have like a, a certain level of understanding in terms of the mining business. And you need to have done that yourself, you know, in your, in, in, in your career. You're not just going to, to copy. So we're going to focus on, on what we want to do and then we focus on growing and we're going to diversify what we do. Diversify. Yeah, we we'll diversify, diversify our, you know, what, what we offer, not just, you know, um, in mining. We're not going to focus on coal. We are dominant on coal now, but we want to also go on to other, you know, commodities and also move now into SADC because we've already started yes. making, yes. you know, inroads into the SADC region in uh, Zambia. So we'll, we'll go there and now go back and develop those because that is wow. also the untapped wow. market wow. that is already in, in uh, uh, there. We've got partners there that we, that, that we are working with. So we are going to, pro, pro, I mean, to, to, um, what is, to pursue that very, very rigorously mm -hmm. and to, you know, to make sure that, that we grow. And we might even end up you know, um, doing something completely di di uh, different from, from what we do. Because, I mean, as COVID has said, we, we have to, mm -hmm. to let go of the past and try and do try you know, and do different it. things yeah, so, to, so to, to, with, to get with better. With the COVID-19 having affected a lot of people, you know, um, right now maybe there's an entrepreneur that's watching you at home. Um, what are some of the words of encouragement that you could share with, with our viewers? Yeah. Um, <clears throat> there's a question um, which is, they always ask, I mean, is uh, entrepreneurs born, born or, or, or made? I, I can't answer that question. Um, but I'll try and, you know, and be in, in between. Um, I don't think that either, you know, neither, or neither one of those is, you know, it's, it's relevant question. So I think, you know, to, when you want to do something, you really have to, um, to make sure that, you know, what you do is really what you love. Because as they say, the cliche say, you know I mean, do something that you love so that you never have to work a day in your life. So find something that you are passionate about and make money out of that. Because when you're passionate about something, you're going to love that thing and you'll put time to it. You know, put energy and then, you know, you'll make sure that thing works. Even if when things, you know, um, you know falls apart, you won't give up. When people, everyone is disgruntled or everyone, you know, have those, no energy, they will get that energy from you and then you have to do. So find your passion because that's the only thing that you get. And there has to be a gap, obviously, for what you want to do because you have to sell your product to someone. Wow. Find your passion. That was Dr. Mutsuadire really engaging with us about his journey and his future endeavors. I am truly inspired today. And to all the students who are attending at TVET colleges, don't lose hope yet. There are still companies like DM Minerals Group that is really looking for people like you. Do continue to engage with us on our social media platform. Unfortunately, this is where our installment of Galaxy Prime will end. Do continue to join other interesting uh, shows that we have right here on Galaxy Universal Network, Channel 500 on Star. That's it. Really boo. Bye bye. Thank you. Anger boils over. Now Dorado. Anger boils over. Now Dorado Park. Make massive moves. Corruption allegations have hit too close to the office of the president. America is crying out for leadership. I'm the president and you're fake news. Donald Trump has already started his attacks. It is clear from the development of the disease. It is still the biggest annual decline in a hundred years.